fight. How you doing? That's me. How you? He's a warrior. That's how I describe him. I'm just a person that's looking for truth in his life, man. Muslim. I wasn't Muslim. Christian for 28 years, bro. I've been a Muslim for the past year and a half. You converted recently? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, that's even. Why, years, why did you convert? Many reasons, my brother. But, um, yeah, give me some. But the argument, the, the, the argument, I'm, I'm gonna stand here. Uh, the argument, the point, the point I'll make here, which is what I said before, an inability to understand yeah. the conceptual, the yeah. incarnation, the Trinity, these concepts, yeah. does not invalidate the historicity of the gospel. Fair enough. It, meaning, meaning. This is what I was gonna say. You didn't let me believe that. You said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, for example, when talking about the actual. Facts of history as it relates to the life of Jesus Christ. Okay. There are a series of events that are universally recognized by all scholars. Such as? Jesus Christ was born around 4 uh, BCE. Hope you he, was baptized, he was okay. baptized by John the Baptist. He preached and lived in the, in the, in the Northern Galilee area. Okay. I wasn't disputing that. Hold on, hold on. But just don't, say, don't end the crucifixion. That's what we'll do. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Please don't end the crucifixion. Before Passover, yeah. he uh, was arrested and he was sentenced by the, high, the Jewish High Court. He was then put, sentenced to death by Pontius Pilate and was crucified. These are indisputable yeah. facts yeah. in history. Whether you believe in God or not, yeah. Do you know these, are about facts. I, 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 these are historical facts. Yeah. Okay. So saying I can't understand the Trinity does not invalidate the history okay, yeah. now I just, of the Gospel. Now I dispute yeah. what you just to said say, now. To, to then say, oh to, say to then say, a man who came 700 years later okay. then has more perspective on what happened because he claimed divine revelation. Yeah. It has no basis. Okay, in now, it. Now, to it's fake. now to refute that, I definitely disagree with the fact that every scholar and every historian agrees with the. Uh, Invents in the uh, Trinity. No, no, many, many. Wait, what, 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 what did you jump I mean, I mean crucifixion, sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Right. I'm so sorry. But you're, you're I'm talking about Trinity. I'm so sorry. 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 Wait, wait, wait. That I disagree with completely. You're aware that most scholars affirm the crucifixion? No, I'm not aware of that. Bart Ehrman affirms it, right? He's not most. Okay, so okay Bart Ehrman. N.T. Wright, Daniel three. Wallace. Okay. Like, I can go through different Act scholars. Three, okay. Four, five, six. Okay, show, show me who doesn't agree with it. Who doesn't? Yeah, so scholarly. Most all the Islamic scholars. That's one. The entire well, Ummah. Well, well, yeah, Quran. because okay. because and it's then, in their Quran. And then like, those that you, like, those that you mentioned, believe in the Bible, right? No, right. It's, 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 no, it's, it's, no. These they historians don't believe, don't believe in it because. They believe in it because Tacitus says it, Josephus says it, okay. multiple different people at the time it recorded it. Yeah. Others as well. I, who Tacitus, okay. Josephus. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You, your response to what we just said that the secular non Christian scholars who analyze and are critical of the gospel, who don't believe it's the word of God, have said unequivocally that the crucifixion is a historical fact. It doesn't make it a fact. And your response is that Islamic scholars don't believe because they believe in the Quran. Hold on, one second. That's second. not a point. One second. That's not an argument. One second. It's like saying. You're talking Muslim too much. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Chris, what I'm trying to say to you is this, yeah? Come on, boy, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't you, then let me talk, please. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I'm just making a point no, because you're turning it into a joke. On, when you start laughing and turn into a joke, no. I'll switch to Chris, you know? Okay, you know. I'm, Keep it respectful, I'm, I'm bro. Step, bro. Come on, man. It's <laughs> alright, man. Take care. It was all good. It was all good. Good, 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 good. What were we saying, bro? So I was saying that the majority of secular scholarship affirms that, that someone called Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. Perfect. Under Pontius Pilate. Now, the, most, the majority of these scholars that you're talking about, mm. where do they gain their sources from, or their source from? Could it, could it be that these scholars that you're referring to are all referring from the same source? And if that's the same source is, let me yeah. finish. And if that same source or source is mm. has been tampered with or corrupted, would it not follow by logical default that their deductions are also? Invalid. Well, first of all, um, any because form of any uh, any like changing of the text doesn't yeah. invalidate all of the text. But look, so my, all, my, my, main, my main reason for uh, disputing Christianity in the Bible was not even a scholarly one. You understand? Okay. It was more a scriptural one, okay. one of doctrines, okay. which is what I want to talk about. Oh, right, sure. Well, we'll go into that if you want. Because yeah. scholars can say a lot of things. You know, okay. scholars say many things, okay. um, and their sources we cannot really be sure about. So, if you, you're not basing your salvation as we stand right now on a scholar, or are you? No. Perfect, so let's not talk about it. Let's talk about scripture. That's what you're basing okay. your salvation on, right? Mm. Right, my salvation... No, wait, hold on. What do you base your salvation on? Scripture? My experience that I have witnessed through the that's Holy... Anecdotal. That's anecdotal. Wait, 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 that's fine. That's fine, though. But it has to be objective, surely. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not. 
But I'm saying that everyone has their experiences. Yes. I would claim that mine are true. Now, I can't prove that to you okay. because we both know that that's something only I have experienced and I can't really share that with you, for sure, right? For sure, for sure. Likewise, you may have but a similar that's thing. That's how you both have to appeal to something higher. Right, I, because I appeal. Subjective knowledge. Fine. Well, I, I ultimately end up with my own experience. Sorry. Right? Um, because to deny it would be foolish if I believe it's true. But I would also appeal to reason. I agree. That's, that's what and logic, yeah. We have yeah. to use our brains. Okay. Yes, right, yes, right. I agree with that. So, through that, I evaluate the scripture yeah. and I affirm that the scripture uh, both confirms in my experience okay. and in my reason, okay. and therefore I believe it's true. That's, that's how I get there. Fantastic. So, the point I raised with the other guy was the reason I don't believe in the Bible was mm. because, I mean, Christians would say the Bible says X, you know, so therefore I believe it. But then I raised the point to him that, look, Hindu Vita can say, my book says X, so I believe in it. A Sikh can say, my book says X, so I believe in it. Oh, yeah. That's called circular reasoning. So as intelligent human beings, mm. we have to appeal to something higher than that. Mm. The circular reasoning is very weak, you know, in terms of finding truth. Mm. You understand that logic I've just given, right? Kind of, but it's not, fulfill, uh, it's not sufficient. So, so, for example, you believe things in Islam, despite the fact it's probably not that reasonable? No. I, dis I believe things which show certain characteristics, i.e. correspondence. It has to, be, has to correspond with previous messages that have been preached in the same book. For example, if the Bible begins by mm. telling me, yep. for example, that you know, God was a spirit or God, God, um, you know, God is not a man, and then somewhere down, someone else tells me God is a man, that is a deviation or a contradiction. That's, when, a, when on, was that's a violation of... Can I just quick thing there? For sure. When was that verse revealed? Sorry? You're referring to Numbers where it says that uh, God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man, yeah. That he should lie. So the whole premise is that basically he's not... He no, doesn't no, suffer from the same numbers. Even Paul himself in the book of Timothy said, you know, yeah. God cannot be seen, you know, he's immortal, you know, he lives in... He alone is immortal. Are we immortal? Pardon? Are we immortal? Absolutely not. You're not immortal? Nope. So when you die, that's it, game over, there's no afterlife, nothing? My spirit is, but my flesh is not, no. Well, wait, wait, wait. So there is an aspect of you that is immortal? Is spirit. the spirit you? No. The spirit is not you. You don't have your spirit. No, no. God... Oh, I have a spirit, of course. And that spirit's immortal? 100%. Is that spirit you in the afterlife? When you die? That spirit, which is you, is in the afterlife. What do you mean, is that spirit me? Is that spirit going to be in Jenna? Hopefully. God willing, I'll go to heaven. Inshallah, yeah. God willing. All right, What's yeah, your sure. point? So my point is, is it's you, isn't it? No, I disagree with that. So you're not in What Jenna. do you define as you? Why are you? What do you define as you first? Me, I, I don't am, think you know okay. what you mean. So what I am, my identity, I think therefore I am, I am the rational being. I'm going back to Aristotle. You're a I am the, being. I am the flesh and the spirit. You contradicted yourself. Why? So if you believe you is the flesh and the spirit, yeah. when you ask me, is your spirit you? That's a contradiction when you use Why? the word flesh and is your spirit you? No, both my flesh How and my spirit be? is me. Just like your flesh and your spirit is you're you. You're in position. Why? Because I think you contradicted yourself slightly. Why? Because you say that you defined you, but now you for your definition of you, yeah. you included mm. the flesh. Yes, I do, yes. And then when you ask me the question, mm. when you die, is your spirit you? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. So now, which is it? Are you conflating that you to include the flesh and the spirit or just the spirit? You know that some, like a singular thing can be a compound thing, right? So for example, you are not according just... According to Christian theology. No, 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 no. according to philosophy, logic. Let me according explain. According to who? Uh, philosophy. So Why? let me explain this to you. Let me explain. Oh. Is this hand you? That this hand? I'm going to say it's me, no. That's not your hand? I'm going to say it's me. Is that it's face you? Is that face you? You change the goalpost every time. No, no, no. I, I need to, I need said, to go to... you and you, after you said, is it your hand? Stick to one position. No, no, no. no. What I mean is... Okay, let's take another example. Your yeah, face, is it you? That was a poor one. Sorry? Your face, is it you? No. Your oh, face isn't you. No. So if I took a picture of your face and I went, who is that? Yeah. No one would be able to tell me. You can identify my face yet? But they know it's you. What, what did you mean? I asked you what did you mean? If I showed you a picture of you, would, and I showed this guy and it was a picture you of you, it would you be able to say, oh yeah, it's him? You'd be like, yeah, it's a picture of him. So is that me? Yes, it is you. Okay, by your definition, continue. Right, okay. So we are not just singular monadic things. We are a compound of things. For example, we are flesh, yeah? And we are also spirit. Okay. Do you agree with this? We are so both far, the so material far, so and the immaterial. So, so when we perish, yeah. my flesh perishes, but our spirit does not perish. Okay. So our spirit, in the Islamic view, goes to Jannah, yes? Or, or Jahanna, the, the one that means hell. If, right, right. So what I'm saying, therefore, is that when you describe someone as immortal, you mean there is an aspect of them that will not end. Likewise, with Christ, there is an aspect of Christ that will not end. His spirit, I think that's not his flesh. I think that's a terrible explanation, and I'll tell you why. Why? If you're going to use that logic, yeah. then by definition, 
all humans are immortal. Because they we, are, yes. Hold on. All humans have a spirit. Yes. Which will live for eternity. And you agree with heaven. that from an Islamic hold perspective? Hold on, my friend. Hold on. Yep. That will live for eternity in heaven. Yep. Or in hell. Yep. So by definition, we're all immortal. Yes. Islam so, teaches us. Oh my goodness gracious me. Are you going to let me speak? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, we're having a good one. Good. I'm not trying exactly. to be rude, but I have to... Well, fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah. What I'm trying to say is humans, that all humans have an immortal spirit. Our yeah. flesh is not immortal. Yes. So when the Bible says he alone is immortal, are you telling me that the Bible was referring to God's spirit and not God's flesh? This is interesting. So can you, I don't can you show me, has flesh. let's have a look at the verse, right? I want to I evaluate the words. You don't believe God has flesh. All right, well, that's a separate thing, right? But you do. Yes, you I do. believe that. God. Yes, I believe that. And that's yes. a violation of an, early, of an earlier doctrine. What's the earlier doctrine? My friend, what, what happened to your response? That was My friend, if your book uh, says, hang on, I'm trying to find that verse that you mentioned. The cannot be seen. Do you remember where it is? Uh, first, yeah, I think I it's, know. I think it's I this, but let's have a look. What verse are you referring to? Uh, no. The one that says, um, the First Timothy, you quoted it. First Timothy. 16. Who alone is immortal and lives in an impossible light? No one has seen or can see. Nobody has seen. No one has seen. People have seen Jesus, brother. So you know, as a layman, right? That's what I am. I'm a simple layman, right? When I see things like that, to me, it comes across as a violation of doctrine and principles. Right, right, right. Secondly, when I when I get the understanding that the Creator is all knowing, right? Yeah, as that's all knowledge, I wasn't sure, but and I've, I saw and I've been shown bit, instances yeah. where Jesus has like limited out, knowledge. It makes me think: right, yeah, this is Can this be God? And then I get here and then see that. And the point I'm trying to make so is that I have more. Right. I think there are more oh, deductions yeah. that uh, prove Jesus yeah, not yeah, being God uh, than Jesus being God. I'm not saying okay. you don't have your reasons to believe so. You can right. you can take one John, I mean, you can take one, really one John five seven that refers the Trinity, or whether it be whether whatever version. This is interesting. Do you think the Bible teaches that Jesus is divine? So you said the growth. Uh, uh, God. Do I believe that? So because somebody. Uh, I believe. No, I don't believe on the whole it preaches that. I believe the Christian church preaches that. The church, not the right. So it doesn't, it doesn't come from our Bible. The institution, sorry. It doesn't come from our Bible. Is, is what you're saying? What's that? It's not found in our Bible. That concept of what being Jesus being God, no. Yeah, okay. You know that Jesus calls himself the first and the last. Which is an attribute of Allah. Yeah. Okay. I know this verse. Yeah. Let's follow it. Let's go with it. Then. Okay. Um, so one of the attributes of Allah. I don't necessarily believe in the validity of revelation, but let's just say I do for the concept see, of this again, argument. You see, I, that wasn't what I asked you though. That's not what I asked you. I asked you, do you think the Bible, as now the Bible, do you think it pre it teaches that Jesus is divine? Okay. All right. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's. Yeah, exactly. If you accept it or not, the point is, is that there is scripture of which Jesus is referring to himself as the Alpha and the Omega. The first me. I can show it you right now. It's Revelation 18. No, I can read it too. It's also Revelation 22:13. I've read okay. verse 2. Right, so you know then the Bible says. I've read it too. Okay. What I'm disputing is yeah. the interpretation. But you know it's fine, you can okay. Not its existence. Right, okay. Do you so understand what the difference? Do you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think that someone can yeah. no, proclaim no, no. they are the first and the last? What does that mean? To be honest with you, how you feel with it? As a Muslim, you know who the first and the last is. It's a tricky one because I've analysed that. I've, I've, I've read um, studies pertaining to that. that not only that book, but that particular verse as well. And I've read different you know, multiple verses. exegesis. Yes, yeah, so I've read different explanations of that verse right. and interpretations. Of, of but personally, yeah. I'll, be, I'll, be real, I'll keep it real with you, right? I don't right. actually have a defined, definitive explanation for that verse. Right. But what I do believe is that even if it does mean Jesus is the first and the last. When he says he's the first and the last, yeah. yeah. Even if it does mean that, right? Yeah. I believe that to be violated in other parts of the Bible. Do you understand? Because as far as I'm aware, mm. only God is eternal. So that's a violation to me, you know? Well, it's almost as if God isn't one person. Which God is that? Christianity grew with God. The God who created everything, the heavens and the earth. What do you mean God is that? What about the God of Christianity? Well, I'm not a Christian, so I wouldn't say that, but yeah, I know what you're talking I know what you mean. So there's another one God. What do you mean you're not the one God? I don't think someone's got a position. Do you? Yeah. Okay, God of Islam. Okay, God of Islam. Yeah, God of Islam. 
So if you, to your satisfaction, to your disprove that Christianity is true, does it in any way mean that Islam is right? If an atheist proves to his satisfaction, male only, military only, proves that Christians are not true or Islam is not true, does it mean that no God exists? At all? Let me respond to that. My response to that would be: Did they actually prove that, or did they? Think that they proved that because look, what? if some hold on, hold on, no, you spoke through it. Let no, me. No, 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 this can't work. Let me speak. Listen. 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 I listened for no, a while. I talked because I've been listening. Listen. Oh my goodness. Okay, carry on. Okay. In fact, yeah, if they believe, so let's have I, I use it to their satisfaction. I use it twice. But the God of gods will not exist. Does that mean they don't exist? It doesn't. It just means that they're they define themselves as an atheist. Okay, fine. So you're no, atheistic towards the problem of Christianity. Yeah. If you say so. so this is my would, position. Not what I say, sir. So. You, you, okay, you would need to make a positive no, let me case tell you for Islam. My position. Don't, 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 don't presume Just, to me. My position is as follows. This is Isaiah 44 6. <clears throat> this is what the Lord says Israel's king and redeemer, the Lord Almighty. I am the first and I am the last. And apart from me, there is no God. So in the Old Testament, the Lord Yahweh proclaimed himself as the first and the last. And there is no other God. But Jesus says, I am the first and the last. But he also affirms the God of the, that he's the Father. But Jesus also says, apart from me, there is no God, right? Yes. Fantastic. You see that sentence, right? Mm -hmm. I personally believe that so, is a contradiction because in why? the gospel. Like Jesus would have known this, oh by the way. Goodness. You just asked me why. Pause. So, I'm very eager. Why do I think that's been contradicted? Because in the earlier gospels, Jesus explicitly says that he's not God. Multiple times. Can you show me where? Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Yeah. Not only did he say he's not God. Okay. Can you show me? He was referred to as good God. Good God. Or other. What? Or other. Good teacher. Right. Let me, you know Jesus is let me called be good. Specific. And he says, "Who am I to be called good? Only the Creator." Yeah, yeah. He calls himself good in John chapter ten. In John chapter, what did he say specifically? He says he's the good shepherd. John. Find it. <clears throat> Why does he say he does things not by his will but his father's will? Why does he always reference the father? That's because because he's working in full unison with the father. That's exactly what Trinitarianism is. What does he, what does he mean when he, when he says the father is greater than I? What because does greater, greater mean? Has, if you have read Hebrews, you would, have, you would have understood that Christ himself, being in the exact image of God, yeah. did not consider equality with God to something to be held on to. And, uh, Take, took off his robes of righteous, uh, of righteous and came down think, and lived a limited life as a man. I think the reason why I'm a Muslim is because my interpretation of the English language is different to yours. When I hear somebody say somebody's greater than me, to me, yeah. greater means mm. more than, you know, the opposite of inferior, you know? So when right. I hear statements like this, mm. and then you come and tell me that they are co-equal, or, or, the, or, the nice, or, the, or the Trinitarian doctrine tells me they are co-equal, co-divine, right. to me that's a violation, it's a contradiction. Why? 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 Sorry? Really can have multiple meanings. Yes, yes. To you, numerically. According to, according to my uh, understanding of the English yeah. language, yeah. when somebody says someone's greater, it means they're of higher position. Yeah, well, I'm going to make it a case against Islam eventually. But you can't get through. Interpret that. Why did you use that? Jesus left the God. Oh no, so of your understanding of English, you might be greater to be equal than. So, which is why you're a Christian, but to me, the question you gave, I just got the right one for this. If it's stated, so effectively, would you believe that within the God, that there is a creation in terms of the Bible, like some two guys have the same name, being the uncalled cause, there are different individuals, and Jesus is linguistic and religious, and cause a lot of it. So, I get to get straight to it. If I say he is a huge thing, he's equal Referred well, to the Father has been, so the has Jesus Christ, the same person of Trinity, is and the God, Spirit. What's it really like? Well, but some of the first two things are nothing else to say. So, referring to the God of Christianity as Trinity, oh, based on the authority of the Father, he actually does answer the question. Trinity, so, God. Okay, so if you read that, it's basically because Jesus is God. So, you would know that Jesus Christ, yeah, I'm going to make it a bit of a try. So, Trinity is the cause of everything that ever 
Yeah, it's just a the same rule. So, in the beginning, the the word was I know. 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 I Jesus modes well, like multiple or multiple occasions, you know, reference the Father as being greater, you know. Can I yeah. and and again, like when I hear statements such as, you know, <laughs> the Father is greater than I <laughs> It's quite self explanatory. So I, I do not know how you can. Well, wait, wait, wait. It is, though. Jesus is anyway, God bro. living in flesh. So he is limited. Like Jesus is, is chosen willingly of his own accord to limit himself on earth. Yeah, but again, that's a contradiction to me because Why? by definition, like, God a contradiction is to me is just pause. relative. Pause. So ask me a question. God mm. cannot be limited, you know. The God that I serve, or the God that I wait, 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 wait. My goodness, wait. Gracious, no, 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 stop no, no, this, no. Please. No, my friend, my friend, my friend. You, you make a claim. No, 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 no. It's, no, it's because I can talk to you, but he's annoying it's, me. It's no. okay. It's okay, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Time? Time? Time, time. alright. Should we do time? Should we do time? Huh? Let's just do time. I, I don't need to do time, it's the quorum. Let me just finish my sentence. No, but then, like, how long should you talk before but he I'm gets not, to talk? I know, I'm not I know. Rambling. I think I'm being fair. I'm not rambling. No, 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 because you're, you're, you're saying things. I'm not rambling. Bro. Be, be you're saying things. I'm not. Two, three sentences and I'm done. You're ripping. But you're, after the first sentence, okay. he's done. Okay. Uh, let, 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 him, let him do a sentence. Alright, alright, alright. I promise you I will wait. I will promise you I'll wait. I promise you I'll wait. I was going to say, bro. I've lost my chain of thought, bro. So, go back to the greater than you. Thank you, thank you. So, Jesus says the Father is greater than I. That's simple English to me. And according to our understanding, he's inferior to the creator of everything. And I cannot worship Jesus as being the creator of everything. When he referenced the creator, God, creating him, being greater than him, it makes no sense to me. Unless I don't understand the English language. I wish you guys can help me. So help me, please. You good? Okay. I'm all right, all right, yeah. good. I'm done. So, I'm done. first of all, Jesus makes it clear he is God in many places. So in Where? John 14, 13, 14, Jesus says you can pray to him in his name and he will answer your prayers. In Islam, that's shirk. That's point number one. Pause, point number two. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Has, you can't. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did he not just complain? Did he not complain that I was interrupting him? To be fair, you, you literally did the same thing. So, so uh, no, if how you. Do you want it to be done? Fair enough. How do you want it to be done? You guys oh. talk for as long as you want. You want time. How do you want it to be done? I'll keep quiet. Okay, all right, I promise I'll try and be quick, right. So, Revelation as well says that Jesus, he says himself in multiple places, Revelation 1.18 and Revelation 22.13 that Jesus is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. Isaiah 44.6, only God is the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega. Jesus affirms the Father is God. He also affirms that he is God. Where? In the place I said before. John 14, verse 13 and 14. Slow down, well, slow down, slow down. Okay, no okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll leave it at that then. So there are clear words in which Jesus says he is God. Yeah, clear words. To me, that's not clear. To me, that is an example of an implicit statement. An implicit statement, you can derive meaning from it, or you can derive meaning into it. An explicit statement cannot be interpreted in any other way, shape or form. It is as is. Now, when you say something such as, when you refer to, what was the second uh, reference you made? John 14 verse 13 and 14. Say it again, please. Uh, so in John verse 14, yes. uh, 14, chapter 14, verse 13 and 14, yes. Jesus says that you can pray in his name and he will answer your prayers. You can pray. You want to see it. There you are. Right there. there you are. Well, uh, whatever you ask in my name. You want to see it. Perfect. Yes. Two, things, two things about that now. If I deem that to be true, let's say it's true now, how, do, how are you conflating that to mean that Jesus is God? Even if he says pray in my name, and I agree with that, how does pray in my name equate to I am God? Okay. Jesus says, you can pray in my name and I will answer your prayers. So who's answering the prayers? According to Jesus, according to that. Right. So he's claiming to be God then? No. I'll say it again. If somebody says pray in my name, how does that equal to I am God? Two okay. different statements okay. with two different meanings. Focus on the last bit. I will answer your prayers. Is that a divine claim? It is a divine claim, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Then we have just demonstrated to you that Jesus claims to be God in John chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. Okay. Thank you. There we go. I mean... It's not there we go. You can't end it there. That's just that's, that's a bit arrogant. That's a bit arrogant. That there are others you can pray to who can grant your prayers besides God or Allah, for example. Let's okay. That. In response to that, what I'm going to say is... If Jesus claims that he can answer your prayers, and you equate that to him being God, why do you not take note 
of the other references or other scriptures which imply Jesus being less than God. Because look, you have a choice here. This is how I see it. You have a choice. Jesus is God, less than God. The verses which support your point, the verses which support mine. I believe the verses which support mine are more abundant, so they're higher in quantity, and they're also higher in quality in the sense that the statements are clear and explicit. The statements which support your position, in my opinion, are weaker and implicit. Now, what my position is this, why do you choose the implicit over the explicit? Why do you choose the unclear over the clear? I can choose verses where Jesus explicitly says, because you're looking at secondary evidence and tertiary. I'm looking at primary evidence from directly from, okay, you know what, to be, to, to, to be fair to you, to be, okay, to be fair, I was, I was wrong there. You are looking at first -hand evidence because you are looking at what Jesus said. But it says what Jesus said. Part of why I don't believe the Bible is because I think there are violations or contradictions in that. When Jesus claims divinity in your, in your segment and in my segment, he doesn't. Which segment shall I believe? You know? So I, to me, that's why I dismiss the Bible completely because there are conflicts in principle. You okay. Know? The contradictions in principle. That's why I dispute it, to be honest. Okay. So I think in some sense you kind of agree that, yes, there are divine claims where Jesus does say he's Fair God. Enough, you in can the see Bible, it as a divine right? claim. Um, I think I don't, the interesting question is what do we do about that? No, no, so, no, that's not the interesting question. The interesting question is what I asked. Okay. You, know, you have to answer what I asked. Okay. Why do you choose the implicit verses which support your verse, okay. which support your position, okay. over the explicit verses which support my position? Okay. So what is it about saying that you can that Jesus answers your prayers that is implicit, not explicit? Jesus answering your prayers, if it's true, is not the same as Jesus saying I am God. Let me tell you something, right? If Jesus if Jesus being God is so important to your salvation, why didn't he say it? Why didn't he tell his mother, Mary, I am God? Why didn't he tell the disciples, I am God? Pause. Something so important to your salvation. Your salvation hinges on this. Why did the Creator not say this? Because the Creator is very clear with many laws and many, and many, many, many principles, many, many, let's just keep it as laws. Things that you should do and you shouldn't do, he says clearly so as to not offer confusion. So when it comes to Jesus being God, why did he not say that I am God? Bang. Not only to the people of the land who came to him, he did not say it to them, he did not say it to his mother, his own mother. And he did not say it to his own disciples. But later down the line, the church wants to tell me that he is God. Yet Jesus did not say this to one person. Whom should I believe? Bro, help me please. Okay, <clears throat> what you're doing is you're basically saying that something can only be derived if it's an explicit doctrine that has these specific words. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, but so what did you just say? What I am saying is that a fair God will not offer confusion. And a fair God, if he wants you to know Jesus is God, would not say it once, twice or thrice. He'd say it throughout the whole Bible in the most simplest terms, Jesus is God. He would not say it in the form of, I am this and that, therefore pray through me because he's left you to make your own interpretation. God is a very, he's the most intelligent, basically, infinitely intelligent. So if really and truly God wanted to tell you Jesus is God, why couldn't he say Jesus is God? Why does he put it in code form? Ask me that. You spoke for quite a while, by the way. You have spoke for now, a long time, you, mate. Go for, go for okay, right, you, first, of all, first of all, first of all, the idea that Jesus saying that he will answer your prayers is not explicit uh, statement of di uh, divinity is bizarre. Of course it is, your religion affirms that. What okay. Jesus is claiming there is effectively shirk according to Islam. Okay. Second of all, show me in the Quran where it says Jesus in these words is not God. Show me exactly that in the Arabic Quran. Whoa, you can't whoa, find it. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Well, you just spoke, you just spoke. You just let him talk. Wait a second. I let him talk. I let him talk. I let him talk. Wait a second. You asked me the questions. He's answering them. He's not answering. He's answering them one by one. You asked about four questions. Okay, so this is why I reject the very principle that you came with. That in order for a doctor to be established, it has to be said multiple times in an explicit, like, these are the words, way. You do not know your Akida. The word Akida, you find that in the Quran for me. Find me, for example, where Jibreel goes to Mary, specifically Jibreel. It's not in the Quran, and yet your deen believes it. Find it where it says explicitly that Muhammad was sinless. You won't find it in the Quran, and yet your deen believes it. Where Muhammad is sinless. Where Muhammad is sinless. Where, show me where Muhammad is sinless in the Quran. Show me where Muhammad. Um, the, uh, the, show me the mirage in the Quran. Show, show you where Muhammad is sinless. Yes, you, in the Quran. You don't mean show me where Muhammad sinned. 
No, I know Mohammed sins. The Quran says Mohammed okay. sins. But do you believe Mohammed sins? So ask you to prove a negative. No, no. Show me where you, can, you can prove negatives, wow, by the way. That's, that's, an a, that's a bad logic. philosophical claim. Show me where he's claim. sinless. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe Mohammed is sinless? Yes. Right. Show me in the Quran where it says Mohammed is sinless. You want an explicit verse that says that? Yes. Like you said, the criteria. If this is a clear thing, it should be said multiple times in these specific words. That's your criteria. Okay. I'll answer right. that now. Okay. What I said was, what I said should be explicit are doctrines pertaining to your salvation, i.e. Jesus being God. That is a key doctrine pertaining to your salvation. This is merely a characteristic of the prophet, not necessarily a determinant of my salvation. You're conflating the two. Something which is key to your salvation should be explicit and simple. Are the five prayers key to your salvation, for example? The five prayers? Yeah, they're key. The very, I'd say they are. Show very me important. The Quran. Very, very yeah, important. Very important. Show me the Quran. Five prayers. You don't have them. You have I'll, be real, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. The importance of the prayer is highlighted in the Quran, but I can't show you the exact no, verse. No, 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 I'm not an expert in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. It's not in the Quran. I'm not, I'm not, huh? You only have three prayers in the Quran. It's yeah. Three. yeah, so there are three in the Quran. Fair enough. We could, some might say three, some might say the Hadith contains contain five. My bro, if it does, so be it. I'm not an expert in the Quran. All I'm trying to tell you is this. Something pertaining to my salvation. Are you a Bible expert by any chance? I'm not an expert in anything. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a layman. So then, I'm a what, layman, what, bro. What, as a, as a non -expert. I'm, I'm trying to find knowledge. I'm a layman. As a non-expert, why do you then get to just throw away the Bible because it has contradictions? Huh? You haven't actually ever read it. How do you know I haven't read it? Huh? How do you know I haven't read it? I can ask you a question to try and prove it. How do you know I haven't read it? You know what? Uh, you're the other covenant. You're an interesting man. Ask me a question. How do you know I haven't read it? I can, I can, I can find it right now. Ark of the Covenants, right? You know what that is, right? I don't want to talk. What three items are inside of it? You're very strange. Uh, so you're wanting to test my biblical yes, knowledge. Yes, and yeah. the moment I don't know something, yes. you deduce I don't know it. Yes. Likewise, well, yeah, if, I mean, likewise if I ask you a biblical question, hmm? and if you can't answer yeah. it, does, 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 does that mean you don't know the Bible? I will never claim to have read the entire mm -hmm. thing. But yeah, go ahead. I didn't claim to read the entire thing as well. Okay, so where cool. are you going? So potentially, oh, wait, before you left the faith, anyway, you might have actually read the entire thing first before you went. You're uh, very strange. So, yeah. A man said to me, if I can't answer a question from the Bible, it means that I don't know. When I reciprocate the same argument, if I ask him go ahead, he doesn't go ahead. know, I'm not going to do it, but I'm trying to show the, the, the ridiculousness of your, your of your thinking. But I'm never going to say that the question, Bible is correct. If I ask him a question, he does Does that mean he's not a Christian or he doesn't know the Bible? What a weird statement. Well, it, it does mean you don't know, yes. My me. friend, from the beginning of this conversation, yeah. I said I'm I'm seeking knowledge and I'm not an expert. But you were so a for, Christian for 20 for you to, years, you said. For you, for you to throw that out there is weird. Chris, so, are you a Muslim Chris right does not know everything about the Bible, he's not claimed to. So why you, would you say do you, that? Do you know the Lord's Prayer? Do you, do you know the Lord's Prayer? I think I do. Can you recite it for me? Why? What way does it make? I, Why do you trying to test me? Because you've been a Christian for 28 years. Yes, it's a long time. 28 years is. is a long time, mate. That's longer I'm, than I'm me. Yes. So you, do, you do realize. Can you, you, do can you recite people, just the first part? You do realize people convert. I just, so, I, so, so planet Earth, in, right? in our so, churches, in every, in every church, no matter the domination, we always say the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Can you say just the first few lines for me? What's the essence of that? Tell just, me. just, 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 I'm just curious. If you can't, just tell me you can't. It's fine. I won't mock you or anything. I'm just curious. If I can't say the Lord's Prayer, it means I'm not a Christian. It, 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 it raises some lacking. serious questions so about where you were in your faith. Yeah. So what yeah. if I do say, what will the outcome be? Then at least you know that. Well, at least at least you know yeah. that. That made me more comfortable. So I, I don't really think I have to validate myself to you okay. guys. Okay. So you don't know. To be honest. Okay. okay. That's fine. Yeah. You know. But I mean, it raises questions. It raises a lot of questions. Right. Uh, Not really. Question. The Lord's yeah, Prayer. Yeah, the Lord's uh, Prayer is recited. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm saying, I'll ask you a question about the Bible, and if you don't know it, it means you want to be. That's a very. That's wait, wait, wait. Most, way Muslims do this Christians all the time. Yeah. If, if, what do they do? If, if, a, if a Muslim, uh, an ex Muslim talks to a Muslim, yeah. the Muslim will be like, ah, uh, what is Salah al Fatih? Oh no, how many rakas in? Da, 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 and they yeah. ask him all these questions. Or, 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 because it's a way of knowing if they really actually were a Muslim. No, it's yeah. not. The closest I've heard to that is maybe a Muslim asking. I've seen it, I've seen it, Raka. The closest I've seen is a Muslim asking someone to recite maybe. 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 Yeah, because that is a fundamental. So I don't understand the Lord's Prayer. I don't understand that requirement. I know some Christians still today that don't know the Lord's Prayer. Where do we get the Lord's Prayer from? Pause. I know Christians that do not know the Lord's Prayer. Are they not Christians? Are they Are they not Christians? Like yourself, potentially? How do you know I don't know it? Because you wouldn't say okay. it. Well, not necessarily. I, I think if you knew, you just say it. You think a lot of things, but your thinking is flawed, in my opinion. So am I wrong? 100%. You can literally so just show it. him up right now by saying, like, because, four because words. Because if I do say it, the goalpost will get moved again. No, no, we'll, no. we'll concede defeat. That's we'll concede see, defeat right now. Yeah, 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 right now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Swear on your life. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recite right now. Swear on your life. Yeah, yeah, go on. No, not to swear on your life. The thing about I'll swearing, recite it right now. The thing about swearing on your, on your life. I can recite it, but I've yeah, not. It, it, I don't, oh, I don't right, need to volunteer myself to this. I'll recite it right now. If you're confident, recite it. It's on your life. 
Well, well I'm, not, I'm, more, I'm more issue with about swearing on things. Listen. I'll give you a hug. I know he's a touch me. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I've lost this debate, and I'll say it publicly in front of the camera. I don't care if you've lost or no, it's okay, not a point. They will, they will. I don't need to. I'll give you a hug. How about that? I know he's touched touch me, though. Um, I won't let you hug me, so. I don't want to hug you. I'll give you a we will, we will say this debate has been lost. The Christians have lost if you if you recite it. It's not about winning and losing. It's about fighting in the truth, bro. It's not about winning and losing. I don't know what else to give you. They said you were a Christian for 28 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was your main reason for Chief Christ going to Islam? Islam? Mainly because, I, main mainly because... We don't think he's a Christian at this point. Mainly because I saw contradictions in the Bible. Okay. Contradictions. You said you haven't even read it though. Oh. Is that so? Is there no contradiction in the Bible? Not that I've seen so far. The moment I see one, you know, it can question my faith. I'll just show so you far, a contradiction so real, real quick. Couple. Real yeah. quick. Yeah, when I show you some, you don't acknowledge them. You always find an excuse for them. Sure. We don't believe that our word is the so preserved just, tablet, just, basically. Just, so we don't have a problem with it. Just contradictions. That's what it is. What faith do you subscribe to? Here we go. Uh, I'm learning like you. I'm Muslim, but I'm always learning, like, just like okay. yourself. Alif, okay. Lam, Ra. These are the verses yeah, of the clear book. Learn. What's the reason? Yeah, it's just mainly because I just, I just saw contradictions, deviations in doctrine. And Here's one right here. What's that? Alif, Lam, Ra. Okay. This is the Quran. This is uh, Surah 12, Ayah 1. Okay. These are the verses of the clear book. What does Alif, Lam, Ra mean? I'm not too sure. Yeah, that's correct, because no one knows. Okay, so where's the contradiction? <laughs> How is it a clear verse in this book if you don't know what Alif Lam Ra means? Just, I don't know what it, I don't know no, what no, no one knows what it means. No, no one, one in the world. No, no one in the world. No, no one in the world. Yeah. yeah. No one, that, no one that, in the world. That's why the translators just write it in the literal Arabic. Alif Lam Ra. Because they don't translate what that means because it doesn't mean anything. I'm, I'll be honest with you, I don't know Arabic. I read the English Quran, my brother, so that question is... Well, that's fair, that's fair. That, that is English, that is English. That's yeah. English. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, but still... The, but the, the, I don't know what it means. The letters Alif Lam Ra. Yeah. It's Arabic. It's yeah. Arabic letters. It's like saying X, Y, Z. And it says X, Y, Z, effectively. These are the verses of a clear book. If the book is clear, but it contains verses that mean nothing, and it can't be clear. To you, it means nothing. I don't know what it means either. No, 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 no it means no one. No one does. I guarantee you. Uh, no uh, go, oh, go, go, uh, look it up, and whoa, you'll, you'll whoa. see. Well, I'd have to look that up because yeah, we're speaking yeah, for billions of people. Why are you so yeah, yeah, willing, yeah. by the way, to like have a defensive position for Islam, but you didn't have the same position for Christianity? Sorry. So when you were a Christian yeah, yeah, and yeah. somebody brought the conclusions to you, yeah, yeah, did you say, yeah. "Well, I'm going to go look it up," or did you say, "Oh, damn"? Okay, I guess you're right. I obviously went to look up and studied for well over a year, you know, compared to studying on both. Which ones. one was it then that you, tipped you, you over? Which, which condition was it that tipped you over? A combination, a combina combination of them, to be honest. Uh, the number one one? I would, say there's a num I would say there's a number one or top two, but things that didn't sit well with me, okay. personally, was um, Jesus not having ultimate knowledge. He didn't know everything. There are many things he didn't know. That's not a contradiction, though. <laughs> Pause. To me, right. to me, it's a limitation. To me, God is not limited. That's but, one but, thing that really but the things. Bible says that Jesus it willingly God, limited you himself. You ask me a question: What uh, things influence your sure. conversion? And, I, yeah. and okay. I'm answering. Oh, okay. so, sure. so it's not a contradiction. Limit, it's limit, a, it's limited, a limited, limited knowledge. Thing. Okay. okay. Yep. Limited ability. Mm. Okay. The fact he can die. God, mm. my God is it immortal. Firstly. Okay. So is ours. Um, where else? Ask three. I've given you. How many more do you want? Uh, da, 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 da. And just general like contradictions in in um, principle. So when you say. God is immortal whom no man can see, you know. Yeah. Jesus was seen by many men. Jesus himself, you know, referenced the creator yep. as being greater than him. Yep. I've given you about six. So when I expand upon those, on a balance of probabilities, I'm led to believe that Jesus is a mere messenger of the creator and he's not, he's just creation. And he worshiped the creator to me anyway. And my limited knowledge. Just That's so, why I converted, bro. Just so you know, your um, Jesus is not just a messenger in the Quran, he's also the word in the Quran. Okay, okay that's fine. And, yeah, and the spirit from Allah. Thanks for adding that. But well, the, well, point the word remains is the same. The point remains the same that he's a mere human being. And well, no, he's the word of Allah. Oh, my okay, fine. Uh, add, uh, add whatever uh, you want to uh, it. But I'm telling you my no, position. No, that's a Quran. A follow up. Yeah. It seems that a lot of the Quran you had were to do with the, what we call the doctrine of the incarnation. Did you ever look it up what, while you were studying? Hey. Of the incarnation, so uh, God coming in the form of a man. I did look it up, and that, that, I think that 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 um, principle, in and of itself, is a logical fallacy. Okay. Because of the fact that God, the moment you say He comes as a man, yep. the inherent characteristics of a man are: a man can be seen, a man is limited. Yes. Men, men produce waste. Sure. Men are limited in their thinking, sure. in their physical abilities. These are the inherent characteristics of a man. So when you say God came as a man, that statement in and of itself to me is a logical fallacy. When you then continue down that 
chain of thinking and then say that same man was killed by his own creation mm -hmm. you know that same man was the son of god and god at the same time how yep. could you be a son and a father at the same time to me it blew my mind so many i've given over 10 so far but so many like logical fallacies which when you aggregate them i just discard it to me you guys you hear all this and you still you know it's not it's you can reconcile it some way and that's why you're still christians fair play to you when I heard the same thing, I couldn't reconcile it and stay a Christian, you know? Did you ask anybody, do any Googling, many watch any videos? Many things. I spoke to, from speaking to people in person, so from priests, pastors of knowledge, mm -hmm. videos, forums, documentaries, Sorry. websites, Sorry. every type of medium you can imagine, okay. I believe I access. And I believe I was fair also. So I don't just listen to the Islamic perspective and not to the Christian perspective. I want to know why Christians believe this. What's their main reasoning behind it, you know? I like to think I was fair and I kept it real because I'm not... I'm not trying to score points or look for attention. I just want the truth, you know. I know there's a creator. That's what I know. So which path, which religion, is what I, you know, swore to, swore to research and look into, you know. And upon my research, it came to the conclusion that Islam was more sound to me, you know. And that's all I can say about that. To you, Christianity is more sound. A fair play. But for the aforementioned reasons, I can't follow Christianity. I've given you many, and if you don't want to still agree with those, fair play, but I've given you both. Like, what else can I do? I've given you what I believe to be contradictions in doctrine and principle. Logical fallacies. You've given me characteristics that limited men have, and you've actually reached those to God. I just doesn't make sense to my brain, you know? When he was killed by his creation, he was crying out to the creator. Yeah, he's the creator. What? Yes. What? He's crying out, like, he begged God to, keep, he, to take this cup away from him. Yeah. Yeah. Is he begging himself? Is he begging himself when he says God? So you still, he thinks God is one person. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the problem. Modalism. It, that's Fair what he's, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And I, that's why I disagree with you guys. Because you, you guys accept the Trinitarian concept of God being three in one. For me, God is not three in one. God is just one singular well, powerful being. Yeah. So, okay, you, you've got the wrong No, not composed bro. of anything. But you're not composed of anything. Uh, you're not composed of a, of, of a, of a Jesus son. Christian. I'm not composed of the Holy Spirit that the Trinity are two, three entities. Only one. I'm, I'm not doing semantics. Three entities means semantics. whatever. Three things in one. It's three something, isn't it's it? Not three, it's so not three. So what's the three? It's not three uh, things in one. What's the, what's the right. three persons in one. Okay, so, it's sorry if we use the word person instead of things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, bro. Let's so, not use semantics here. So Three something is that one. You're yes. aware that in Christianity, you have something called heresy. The idea is that the the attributing of the divine nature to the flesh is a real issue that the world is But you're making the mistake, and I think it's a very modest simplicity, the idea that there is one God who is made. And we will say it as if it's like a convincing point. You think I'm doing that? I think you are making a mistake. I think you are making a mistake. I agree, I agree. You're making a mistake, I say why. It's just three beings, it's just their rules that will stay in one. So what's the word then I should have used? One being, okay, made up of three persons. Okay, sorry for using the word being instead of person. All these words well, no, 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 it's important though. It's important. All the words I mean, he said three persons, I use Okay. Well, Allah is 99 things. Okay, okay. Let me go with your reasoning. He's three persons. That to me is a logical fallacy. Because the moment you say God is a person, he's not God. To me, because an inherent characteristic of a person are limiting limited attributes no 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 huh? you're, 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 you're confusing person with human yeah we're not saying okay what is a person to you a person is just a, just a, 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 a character a character so, so a, a character a, that, that you, a character, a character like with, in a movie a character with a mind in the world that you present to the world so a role uh, 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 huh? Huh? no so a a, per, a person that look, 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 a character yeah. uh, with a mind and a will that it is then the thing that is perceivable by other people that's what a person is. A person is a character oh. with a mind and a will that's yes. perceivable by other people. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. That's what a person is. Is that your definition? Yes. No, so that's your, not the yes, I, yes, I, I can bring it up for you if you want. But a, a person is a human being. I guarantee the person, yeah. the, the definition of a person corresponds more closely to my opinion than yours. Bring it up now. Oxford Dictionary. Persons don't mean limited. Let's use, let's use it closer. I'm going to show you up right well, now. Well, it depends what you mean. Because no, no, no. Forget what I mean. He just no, gave no, me his no, definition. No, 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 I gave no, no, mine. No. Now we're going to Oxford. Yes, Dictionary. but again, what context? We'll Are you talking about the normal everyday usage of the word person? Yes, it usually means per, uh, human no, being. No, wait. But are you talking about it in a theological context? In which case, no. We're talking about it in the context in which 
me and him are discussing. Which right, is the so he's talking about hypostasis, which is the Greek word that usually roughly no, no, translates no, 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 to person. No, no, no. Now we're shifting the goalposts. Originally, no, we, just we were more talking about, about, what about we were the talking definition about. of the word person. Bring it well, up, please. There's, there's a lot of them, uh, as always. The so where did you get one from? Huh? So the first one, of course, is a human being regarded as an individual. Yeah, right? so that's how we but use it in normal day language. If you, if you go down, you have Christian theology. Oh, Each Christian theology. Theology. Whoa, theology. It says the word here mold, which I don't agree with, but anyway. Uh, what source are you using? What website is this? Just regular, regular it's the first thing that came up yeah. when he searched okay, okay, no it. Problem, yeah. No problem, no problem, no problem. Then in the Christian theology, uh, each of the three modes, I don't believe, believe in that, what modes of being of God, namely the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom together cost to the Trinity. So there are multiple. Right. That's not what you so said. That, huh? That's not what you said. Though. I obviously. Because he's talking the about. The Trinity, yes? But when I use persons in the last Trinity, yeah. what I mean is. What you mean? Have you said that? You can say what yes. you mean, that's fine. I don't Absolutely. care. Absolutely. What, what I mean is a person like you and me. That's fine. But what I mean is. What opinion? Is, is a being no that problem. has the ability to like uh, purport its no will. Problem. And has a mind. No problem. And has a character that can possess that's that's You, you believe this about Allah, by the way? You have yeah. your opinion Wait, out of your mind. Because you, you believe that Allah is one God and one person too. Yes, yes. I don't believe Allah is a person. But Allah has a will and a mind. Does Allah have a will and a mind? Pardon? Does Allah have a will and a mind? Have a will? Yes. 100%. Do you have a mind? So the word mind out, I have to be careful here because the mind okay. is there thoughts. Okay, okay, it's, it's nothing like cre it's nothing like creation. It's it's far beyond creation. So but does he have? Yes. Right. Okay. Fine then. So yes, in order for us to understand no, and speak the same mind. language, no way. I'm going to describe that no, no, concept. No, no, okay. And that kind of okay. Yeah. No absolutely. Way. Absolutely. That's me, okay. Me. That's fine. That's fine. So in order to us to understand this conversation, I'm going to call that a person. So you believe Allah is a single person, whereas we believe that Yahweh is three persons. I'm agreeing with. I'm agreeing with your definition. Your opinion. No. 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 But hold on. When you said. When I gave, what started this whole conversation was the fact that I said here, the Trinity, right. three three things in one, and then he adamantly yeah. repeated said not three persons, yes, and then when I forced him to give his definition of person, right. it was wishy-washy and it didn't even correspond no, it was, with it's that. The same with the Christian theology. Based. So for you to pause me and refute my point and say no, that's not what person means, and you can't even define person, I you define yourself. three times. Yeah, but yeah. it didn't correspond with that. It corresponded with the Christian theological that. claim that he no, showed no, you. No, the, the, the definition you saw was describing the Trinity, and in the Trinity, the way you use persons, is Fine. again uh, a character with a mind of mind that can present that to, to the rest of the world. That's fine. Yes. According to Christian theology. That's fine. That's fine. But that's okay. how we use the. So essentially, there are words that we can use as human beings that when we ascribe them to God, they don't mean the exact same so thing. So they are changing the definition of words. You well, have to be logically well, consistent. No, because all For words. For example, they say one it means one, but when you're talking about. Theology, or the unity, can mean No, one is one. Wait, wait, Allah has 99 names. So likewise yeah. in your religion. He's 991. How many, how many attributes does Allah have? How many attributes? Yes. I'm not too sure. Okay, at the very minimum he has 99. Has 99. Names. Yes. yes, names and attributes, okay? Yes. So he has at least 99 attributes. At least. Right, how is he one and yet also 99? Yeah, no one said he's 99 though. But, okay, okay, are those attributes, no attributes made of, are those attributes Allah? No one said these 99 constituent parts combined to make God. That's the fantasy okay, that okay, mistaken. it's Al Haq, one of the whereas, attributes of Allah. In your doctrine, Wait. these three. Let me explain this. Let me explain this. No, you got to tell no. finish. In your in your theology, these three persons yes. constitute God. Yes. Islam is not like that. These ninety-nine attributes, attributes way, constitute nine, Allah. These ninety-nine right. attributes do not yes. constitute Allah. That's the slight of hand you're making. That's heresy. According these to Islam. Have, According to Islam. Right, yeah. In your you're opinion. Just, just like, what if you only had ninety names? Would you still be God? Of course. So let's just say he wasn't omnipotent anymore. Would he still be God? No. But that's not one of his names. He's but that's it. that's one of his names. Okay. So what's your point? What if he lost that name, for example? Then he's not God. God. Nope. So in the same way, he can't have ninety names. He has to be ninety-nine names. Not necessarily, because if you have nineteen, if you have fifty names, but well, those fifty names encompass all of those attributes, technically, it's complete. We're using less words. Technically, can let's you? Not, let's not get into semantics here, because I'm not. No, that's not semantics. To, I'm, not, I'm not looking to, to split semantics. names. Of, listen, it's very important. This is really important. You, you. Really talk with wait, wait. Your your argument was that three persons cannot be said to be the same God. Yeah. Right. I could just say that's semantics. But no, it's not. It's actually a really important thing of our faith and of yours, because in your faith, you say that Allah is a, in the equivalence know, one person. Let me finish. One person, although he has, he has a shin, he has two right hands, he has eyes, he has a form, he he has attributes. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So through all of that, Allah is not one. He is many things in one form, and that's what Tawhid is. No, wrong, Unity. That's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, explain to me how that's wrong. Really is now. The difference is, I don't blame you for making this mistake, but I'll, I'll make it clear to you now. Mm -hmm. Christianity, these three persons constitute 
God. Yes. With Islam, the difference is right. these 99 names right. do not constitute God. They don't constitute God. No, they do not. So those they, 99 names aren't God. My goodness, pause. Okay. All right. Pause. Chris, okay. I know you're eager. Pause. Yep. All right. These names are merely characteristics. Merely characteristics. They're not his makeup. They are not his parts. In your doctrine, these three parts come together to make the one. In Islam, it's not no, like that. No, not three parts. Okay, okay, okay. That wouldn't mean that. That, that wouldn't mean. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. That wouldn't mean that you can take al haq which is an attribute of Allah, and you can separate it from Allah. Can you do that? Can you take al haq the truth, and separate it from Allah? Can you do that? Because if it's not Allah, then you can separate it from Allah. You're still conflating it. He's he, is, 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 is his characteristics? Is he the truth? So you could say another way of wording it, yeah. that you might understand it in, is he can demonstrate them. So for example, kindness, love, compassion, he can demonstrate all of these things. Right. It does not mean for a millisecond okay. that he's made up of these things. Right, so he isn't but, compassion. He isn't yes, he's, kindness. You, you don't understand it. No, I mean, no, I don't think you, you are. Listen carefully. I just right. told you right now, he's right. kind. Okay, but is he kind? As in, is he the very essence of kindness? He is kind. Right. He is so, compassionate. Okay. He is almighty. Okay. Pause. He's right. all knowing. Yeah. And that's all within him. He's it. omnipresent. Okay. These are his characteristics. Yeah. It does not mean that these things come together right. and make Allah. That is a, okay. where you're missing. So are they me. separate from him? Because either something is him, or it's something it's distinct it's from him. Is, yeah, you're using your Christian. No, I'm, I'm using philosophy. You're, you're, you're not. You think I you're am. Not, but you're not. No, this is philosophy. Because you're used to constituent parts making your God. Right. Okay. So, okay. That's wrong. You are. What is the yeah, essence of Allah? Then? That's you do. Are you yeah, what, what is what is yes, the yeah, essence yeah. of Allah? Is it all of His attributes? The essence of Allah then is plainer. Then maybe that clarifies. The essence of Allah is, is, is not made. The moment you say it's made up of these parts. Right. You've committed, in my opinion, blasphemy. Because right. because what you're saying is like, is a bit of kind. Put a bit of kindness on there. Put a bit of put, put a bit of omnipotence on there. Put some omniscience on there. Let's put them together. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. That's that frame of thinking right. to me is wrong. Yeah. Okay. He's not. Con the he's not constituent no. parts. Okay. He can merely express right. these characteristics. So, okay. Uh, so are these? So, so, so God can love you. Yeah. He can demonstrate his wrath to you. Okay. He can. He can. He can, he can show you certain signs, certain things, he can show you compassion, you know? It does not mean that these things glue together, make Allah. Okay, okay. So, so, you know, so, so I understand, but, so it says take what, like that's it. That's what I'm trying to make, bro. Okay, And then you keep going, right. if I remove one of these things, the right. kindness, is he still alive? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay but okay, but okay. let's, okay. let's, 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 let's take his wrath, let's, let's, let's take the attribute of wrath, right, his judgment. Okay. Okay, is the judgment nature or is it something distinct from his nature? Is it part of his nature? Yeah. Is it distinct from his nature? Yeah. Again, I don't really view it that way. I don't really know. Okay. It. Right. So the, 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 the I I okay. Let me explain what the problem is, and then you're gonna stand. The, you know? the problem that I'm trying to get is this: is that if you say it's a part of his essence, then yes, Allah is not just a monad. He is made of many things. But I did not say that. Right, I'm just saying, if you did, you if, you did say, if you did, if you did, brain, if you did, your if you did, right. I didn't, so I didn't. right. I didn't. Okay. And I didn't. now, if you say actually no, if 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 his judgment is outside of him and distinct from him, then there are multiple different things outside of Allah that are eternal yeah. okay, that's the problem you have yeah. hatred is an emotion okay created by the creator everything comes from the creator is created by the creator is he made up of hatred let me let me think of some more negative attributes envy is envy comprised of what even though he's the creator of everything mm. you see how I'm flooring your position just because these emotions mm. exist and they and they were created by him does not mean he's constituted sure. of these emotions. Sure, yeah. I'm talking about Likewise, the ones with any other emotion, brother. I'm talking about the ones that he is. To make Let's talk about his actual attributes, though, not ones that, no, that no, are no, not no, his no, attributes. No, no, the ones that actually are emotions his attributes. Are the same thing because I could use love in the same way. Can I not? No. no. Can I not? Only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. That's what is it? Love essentially is an essential part of God. Yeah. yeah. God, in your love. Opinion, but God yes. is love. Yes. So, so yes. God in essence is love. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so if, 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 if you see love, so that's not just seeing God in action. It's your opinion. It comes yeah. from God. All so again, the problem that you have is that these right. 99 attributes, so if they are inside of Allah, he compacts that. And if they're outside yes, of Allah, Allah and 99 intel, that's your problem. So, so which one is it? 
Because you're not able to recognize the style, how Allah is one, but has multiple attributes. I guess we just So basically, we have, the we have different in the same way that the God of the Bible is one in one way, essence, and three in first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Okay. Are you done? Bro, we, we can't we're not go in there because, bro, I'm trying well, to have a rough well, question. Well, 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 well. I'm trying to have a rough question. And you keep repeating the same thing. Like, okay. I'm telling you, it's the God that I serve, I'll anyway. say this one okay. final time. Yep. The God that I serve, listen carefully. Okay. He's not constituted of different, let's not use semantics here, emotions, spirits of different things, love, hatred, envy, compassion, these things do not glue, combine okay. together to make the creator. Sure. So, the moment you take away love, yep. that's why I disagree with your frame of thinking and yours as well. Okay. You're saying the moment you take away one of these things and it becomes 98, does he cease being God? And I, my response to that is your frame is wrong, because okay. he's not from the, from the not made up of these things anyway. He's not made up of anything. He created these things. What is, oh, oh, he created oh. everything. He created his attributes. Okay. He created so everything. everything. He created his attributes. So the attributes Sorry? Are created. Sorry? The attributes, the attributes are created. Are created. Where did it come from? Oh, wow. Uh, tangible things, no, any tangible things are created. Okay. Okay. Ah, ooh, that's wrong. That's, 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 where does it come from? Where does it come from? The air. It's the essence of it's God. It's the essence, ah. bro. Fair enough. <laughs> no creation. Fair enough. So Allah is oh. not creation. That's your opinion, though. Bro, God, 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 Allah is the all-knowing, uh, He's the, the all-powerful. Did he go away? He's the all-knowing and the all-powerful? It's a human God. Wow. The attributes. Yeah, he's preaching that. I always say he created being all-knowing. But, 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 because, 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 that is, that is that's one of his attributes. Intrinsic, right? That is, that is what, that is what, again, I can't get through with you. It's an essential part of our. He has to be all knowing, right? Yeah. No, he demonstrates all knowingness. I'll go as far as saying that. So well, but when, when, when you say, no, he, he's, all, he's all knowing, but well, you take it the wrong, it's your paradigm. But he created You, you think these things here are, in a way, glued together to make God. But they're not. But they're not. Okay. Now, because you're asking oh. these 99 things, right. you take away one, is he still God? Your paradigm, your frame okay. is warped. Okay. Because, so, because it's, these things, anyway, do not combine to make God anyway. Okay, so there was, a, there was a, an instance in the existence of Allah when he wasn't all knowing, and then he made it. What? So, well, so has Allah been all knowing? Confusing me. Has Allah been all knowing? All of this. So all there was an instance where he wasn't, and then he made the attributes. I don't. That's a very silly question. By the way, by the way. So, in other words, you're asking me, is there a point in time where Allah was not? Was, was Allah was all knowing and not all knowing? No, yeah, well, he wanted no, to know. He, he, he said he, he had to use the essence. He said he made it. Seemed like a smart guy. Part of the law. What? Well, he wants to say is all the attributes are the essence. He knows that. He's not a silly guy. Allah, he's a silly guy. Part of Allah. He knows that. Like, you say his character is. Give me another question. The essence is completely different. Here's the answer. The answer would have to be that those things, those attributes, are intrinsic to Allah. Exactly. Essentially, they, they are the, the core that essence is, of His being. And so, Allah is one in one way, in all and 99 in another way. That's the answer. Hold up. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I would also argue that the attributes contradict each other. Well, yeah. that's I guess it's a good combo, but I just know that we agree to this agreement on other things. Okay. But, good but I don't think you did enough reading into Christianity for yeah. you. Yeah. you can well, you want. That's yeah. The Lord's Prayer, we still didn't get it. Yeah, so, so we get Lord's Prayer. Our Father. Yeah. One, our Father. Our Father, who, who art in, go on, you know this, you know this, you've been a Christian for 28 years, I can recite it from heart, so can he probably, I'm not going to do it, I'll, I'll do it for fun after you've gone, if you're going to leave. I don't care what you can do bro, I'm just here to like, you know, get different opinions, learn, that's all I'm Well, it's, it's been a nice conversation, you know, I, mean, I, I don't know this stuff, my, 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 it's problem, it's my problem is that I don't think that you looked into the faith enough before you left, I Fair think enough. you made a mistake, Fair enough. I think you should go back and look at it again, I value your opinion highly, thank you, look at the doctrine I value of the incarnation and the trinity, thank you, and read it again, thank you, it might make more sense this time, thank you, you're welcome. Do you want a hug now? I don't want to touch you, huh? No? Oh, we love, we love you. No, 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 no. Will you shake? Will you shake? Should we end it there? Will you shake my hand? So, okay. Do, do, do you want to? Oh, it's pleasant. Like a. Okay. It's all love, man. Obviously, we get passionate about this because it's, it's what we believe yeah, in. Yeah, but we're shaking it, right? For sure, man. We're shaking it. That's the most true. One, a year and a half. A year and a half? Oh man, go back. We're still learning. Go back. I can't do that. Oh man. Trust me. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna learn some things, man. No, I'm just like, like absolutely like, like, like dumb about, about this space. If you were smart now, you'd yeah. ask me 
you asked me certain things that yep. I've been here for a long time. What type of things did you find out in Christianity or made you leave Christianity? I did ask you that. So why yeah, would you confidently well. say? Why would you confidently say that if you if you had done if you knew Christianity, if you knew certain things in the faith, you wouldn't have left? You're presuming a lot. Because the a exact lot. the exact reasons you highlighted yes. that caused you to leave yes. all have answers. So that you didn't find. Are you sure? Yes. No one's giving the answer to today. I've spoken to many Muslim scholars. Oh god. Muslim scholars. And Chris, listen, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. Okay. It works both sides of the equation. Okay, okay. Because Christian, Christian, Christian scholars. Uh, Christian, would you go to a Hindu to Christian, learn about Islam? Christian scholars? Christian, Christian. Can you tell me who they were? Christian like just pastors, the names. Christian pastors. Christian pastors. Little Salah. Can you name me? Who, who did you speak to? Who, who did you speak to? Like, your names? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or your YouTube like, channels, you whatever you want to. People closely related to me and my family, but okay. but they're very knowledgeable. So uh, pastors and priests, they're uh, pastors. Okay. You know, many and black. You should check out. You should check out some stuff uh, on YouTube and some actual scholars. Yeah. Doctor uh, William and Craig. That's us. What I'm trying to say is, sir, I've heard both sides. Bro, be patient. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard both sides of the point, and I chose to accept one. Yeah, but you, you, t you said earlier that this is the first time you've heard answers to some of these things. Sorry? You said earlier this is the first time you've heard answers when? to some of the, Earlier, just a few moments first ago. First time when? Said, now? Yeah, yeah. Not, Unless not you misspoke. You guys, okay, you misspoke. You misspoke. All right, fine. But my point is... You've heard, I've heard before, and I just can't reconcile it. You haven't given me anything new, respectfully. What I'm okay. trying to say now is that I've got my reasons for leaving Christianity, and again, I'm not trying to point score, I'm not trying to be different. I literally interpret it as I see it, and based off a balance of probabilities, to me, there's more of a probability that Jesus was a messenger and subservient to the creator of everything than Jesus being evil to God. There are more clues that allude to that than clues that allude to your position. And that's why, bro, you bro, let's, let's Jesus agree to disagree. From the Bible. Yeah. You were born the again, Quran, Jewish, no. yeah. Oh, my whole family are Christian. They go to church every, every Sunday. I used to go to church every Sunday, bro. Like, wow, well, you say that. You know Jesus. Uh, you need to know Jesus. Pardon? You need to know Jesus personally. I know him personally. Yeah. yeah. You know him. Like have a chat with him. Yes. Yeah. 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 Prayer. Yes. That's, yeah. 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 That's our relationship. He will answer your prayers. Father. Let me show you. That way God reveals us a father. Because yeah. I say the same thing. Yeah. If, if you um read the Quran and, and you pray and you look for the truth, you you'd, you'd find the truth in the Quran. I say the same thing to you. Well, what you said to me, I'll reciprocate that. So where do we go? From? Well, the, the, problem, the problem I have with the Quran is that it affirms the Torah and the Injil. Well, it confirms, we know. It does confirm the Quran. Yeah, angel, but, that, but not what we have today. What we have today has been corrupted. So I agree with okay, that. Okay, okay. Well, when, when Muhammad gave the revelation, was the Torah and the Injil corrupted before or after that? The corruption is um is a continuous process. So it's gone through various councils, various institutions. Okay, but, but where? Like, it's still valid at the time any, of Muhammad. Evidence? Any, any evidence? Yeah. Chancellor, do you reason? What happened in Nicaea? Oh, God, you want to answer properly? Okay. Sorry? Uh, no, no, listen, a good question. Listen. What happened in there, see, out of curiosity? Yeah, what curiosity. Happened? Yeah. Are you, are you uh, a rough synopsis? Yeah, yeah a rough synopsis. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, under the Constantinople, the Constantinople rule, yeah. priests, deacons, in, a, in essence, there was a dispute on the concept of uh, the divine, or, or shall I say, the Trinitarian concept was in dispute. So, there was a council in which deacons. And an official vote or consensus was taken what the official doctrine shall be. When that consensus was taken, it was then prescribed that this is the official doctrine based off the vote. And I don't okay. think what I've read, I've read multiple sources alluding to this. Okay. this these, these councils are, you can, you can, we can Wikipedia this, this mother. I, I, I know about the council. So, that's an example of one, of, of how innovation has been made over time. This is, this is one example of innovation. So what I'm trying to say to you is, look, but what was innovative? That's, that's not innovation, no. That's, what was innovative? Yeah, what was innovative? Well, they change you. They don't how so? anything. Wait, wait, no, they, no. We said how so? Yes. yes. Because mm. they def this, the actual, what's it called? It's the, uh, the Trinitarian Creed. I think it's actually got, it's like on, the, on the Roman Catholic website. It's actually written there of how, I don't know word for word I used to, but my friend, my memory, I, I don't remember, I don't really need to remember. Okay, but in essence, it states that they are co-equal, co-divine. They should not be, what's the word, confounded. Um, and yeah, I don't know what for what, but some key 
attributes I know. So yeah, they are complete, which I right. dispute completely. So if Jesus said the Father's greater, bro. That is that in essence you're, you're saying that before 325, Christians largely believed that they weren't holy. Bro, before that time, Christians were Unitarian. You know that, right? It's oh, only after. Uh, it was, it was after uh, that. Uh, pause, pause, pause. Any, you, you, any, you, 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 any group, any proof? Was it in Ethiopia, in Egypt? That any, any? Yeah, any proof. Well, I want proof for that. So Christians were Unitarian. I, 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 I can show you proof online. Yeah, yeah. Sure after us. much of this region, it goes as far as this, right? Not only were they Unitarian. Yeah. The cause, the the result of this, of the findings of this council. Yeah. After they found introduced this Trinitarian concept, right. it led to severe, intense persecution and murder of Unitarian Christians because they were seen as going against the grain. And I've read this in multiple sources. If you don't want to dispute that, that's fine. Yeah, but according to what I've read, mm. if you want to open your phone right now, you can do so. Him, but but when you go research whether or not post these councils, mm. Unitarian mm. Christians mm. underwent severe persecution they and, didn't, and murder. Actually. The, what what I'm, actually I'm, happened I'm, is it's surprising. Of course, of course, I must have been written double because according to what I've read, they underwent severe persecution, murder, they were they, they were cast out. A lot of them went into hiding, a lot of them went into, you know, went into exile because they were cast out. They were seen as being, um, what's the word? Like heretical, heretics? heretics, yes. They were seen as being that. The original, original Christians who actually performed Christianity as it should have been performed. According wait, wait. To how Jew, what, how was was the, what was the result of the Council of Nicaea? Like in terms of the vote, what was the vote? Bro, I've just told you what it was. Do you want details? I'm not going to no, no, details. I actually want details. No, I want details. I, I, so, I, I just said what, it, bro. I'm not repeating it. No, no, what I mean is, is um, I want to go in a little bit of it. Because basically, you, you understand how many how many bishops are there, right? I and what the vote was. I don't, I don't know how many bishops there were. Right, right. One, one, one of the com... How many there were. So, check it out. 318, if I remember correctly, and two of them opposed. Why is that relevant, though? So only two... You bishops. had 318 bishops from all across the fragmented Christian world, and they voted on the, the uh, on, on uh, harmonizing how exactly Jesus is divine. Okay. Is he exactly the same substance as the Father, or is he of similar substance? Okay. And out of 318, yeah. only two voted against the idea that yeah. he was the same substance so what's your point? as the Father. What's your point? So in the order point for them to reach that conclusion, mm. it would entail that before they got to the council, yeah. there was already a widely held belief that Jesus Christ was of the same substance as the Father. Do you think he's he made a point? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a massive <laughs> point. <laughs> These guys are yeah, ridiculous. No, he's ignoring the number that said yes at the council Wait, and what? then went back to their own ways afterwards. Yeah? Not only that, what? but... What are you on about? Only, okay. uh, 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 you even know if, what I'm on even about. if I take your you know what I'm on about. after Arianism uh, became popular again. After but even if even if I hold your position, what does that mean? Do you think right. you made a point or something? Yes, I did. Yeah, he, he just established wide held belief. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If a, if a priest believes something, does that mean it's true? A, bi a bishop across the entire, like, right, from, from, world. from where? Like, Antioch, from Rome, Rome to Greece, Antioch, uh, from Syria, Egypt, Egypt to... Ethiopia, everywhere. So they're yeah. the epitome of truth. Priests? Sorry? So priests. No, bishops. Oh, they bishops. Teach, oh, wow. They're, they're epitome of <laughs> semantics. That's, that's, okay. like, that's like getting, that's like truth, getting yeah. all of the sheikhs in Islam no, no, together no, no, no. and, and like, all of them agree with... Yeah. What the bishops say Wait, wait, do what? Sorry? That's like getting all of the sheikhs of Sunni Islam from all four madhabs and getting them all to confirm two of them that uh, a certain but thing we, is correct. We don't need to do that. But if it happened, if it happened, well, we you would be like, that. look, that's we consensus. We have it written in the books. Well, wait, no, no, you depend on Ijma. You depend on Ijma. You depend on Ijma. You depend on Ijma of the consensus of the scholars. And God's saying, if they follow what was written in their book, they would denounce the Trinity straight away. It's not there. Show me Akida. Show me Akida in your book. Show me Akida. Show me Akida. It's written into all Jesus. Show me Akida in your book. Where are your five day prayers? In the Where are your five day prayers? Where's the mirage? Where is uh, Muhammad said to be sinless? Where's the mirage in the Quran? Tell me. Do you know what that is? Do you know the mirage? I don't even know where. I'll be honest with you. The problem is, is that you've been tricked with the religious aspects. I'm not all knowing. I'm not going to say I am. I don't know when I see a contradiction. No, no, no. You're telling me that the has to have the Trinity explicitly. I'm saying your entire religion is based, based off multiple concepts that are not explicit in the Quran, yeah. and you go, well, well, I don't know. I don't know, man, you don't know. The point is, is if, you, if you're going to do that, stop saying that there's, no prob there's a problem. Is Muhammad sinless? Is Muhammad sinless? What's that going to do with...
that a part of your deen? Is that a part of your deen? What's that got to do with the faith? Because according to the Quran, you have to affirm everything that Muhammad said, yes? A main precept for the faith is Is that you... No, is that you... No, show me in the Quran. Show me in the Quran. Show me the Quran. Where does it show? Where does it say it? It's not the main doctrine, so it doesn't have to be explicit. Only your main doctrines have to be explicit. In the Quran, you are... Things that take you to heaven or hell have to be explicit. What are the six pillars of Islam? What are the six pillars? You don't, I believe in Jesus. No You're wrong. There's no six pillars of Islam. Are you mad? So believe you have to believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Yes. Believe yes. Believe believe you believe what he says. Islam. 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 You don't believe in Isa Six pillars of Islam. You don't believe in God. Oh, six, sorry, six pillars of Islam. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then, uh, for so. example, tell me when, when he, he was, was born, in, uh, in front of Pontius Pilatus. What he tell says. me anything about the Tell me God. where he was yes, born. Yes, tell me where he went. Tell me where, when he ascended into heaven. Tell me what he taught. Anything. The Quran anything. tells you. Anything. you Quran tells you nothing. Know. The Quran doesn't tell you every bi aspect. It doesn't give a full biography what? of every Quran. Quran. Well, the Quran tells you. The Quran does say it's an in detail book. That is what the Quran. The Quran is a guide for salvation. It is not, it's not a so it, How can you believe in somebody who can, 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 can say one small thing? The Quran is not a speech prophet. The Quran just contains what is necessary for your salvation. But it doesn't you tell you about the prophet. Understand now. Which is necessary for your salvation. Oh, then how can you believe in somebody? It doesn't talk about hard. It doesn't talk about the Quran. The Quran. Yeah. And this Sorry? has been explained to you. You just said the Quran. I've said it once. Let me let me do not need to know God. the man's biography. The Quran is really? what? What? The Quran is so much. Why are you saving him? What? Yes. The Quran has told me what I need to know. He's just said in his own words. He's the one that decides the religion, but he's one that decides the religion. We're talking to him. We're talking to him. You just said. You just said. You just said. And he also said. He's not all that. I know that. I know that. You just said. Anything that is not. Wait, wait, no, no. But in Surah 5, I have 48, it affirms the gospel. In Surah 5, I have 48, it affirms the gospel. How is the way to salvation? The gospel will not yours. I'm not attributing. Show me. It cannot say it can, the Quran. Okay. Not the gospel we're having. Twenty minutes ago, it was written back then. It makes no sense. Wait, wait. wait. So you believe that it's the gospel of then? Yes. Pardon? The gospel okay, of then is what you think it refers to. Let, yes. For the corruptions. Right. Yeah, we have manuscripts of the gospel to 200 years, okay, or actually 300 years before that date. Done. The Codex Sinaiticus, the Codex Vaticanus, the Codex Alexandrius. What? Big time. So you said that the first So it doesn't mention praying five times a day. I believe. Muhammad was the first one. I got it. I got it. Then Muhammad affirmed the corrupted book. The Sunnah tells. So Muhammad was alive after about four or five after about seven councils. Yeah, how we you? Muhammad was alive okay. after about seven councils had been had. Okay. Okay. You claim in these councils corruption happened. Huh? There was so much. Why was Muhammad confirming there were so many that had already been through seven stages of corruption? No, no, no. Listen, Prophet don't, Muhammad, don't do that. Praying to we pray to God. Not yeah. He's God. He's God. He's God. He's God. You see when it is Isis Jesus. That the Torah is in was being talked about. I was talking about the Torah. So that's different. I don't know much about the Torah. I made, I literally made one tiny point. You go, my okay, friend. I know Allah would not appeal for the people to read.
by definition, the Quran is the prayer. No, he tells us to. He tells us to in 548. So you're saying, you're saying Allah appeals to the people to receive. Get to the point. Should we say it out loud? Should we say it out loud? Put it out loud. Say, all people of the scripture. Okay. You are understanding, or in brackets, on nothing until you uphold the law of the Torah, the gospel, and what has been revealed to you from your Lord, i.e. the Quran. And, uh, and that which has been revealed to you from your Lord will surely increase many of them in transgression and belief. So do not grieve over the disbelieving people. Okay. Where in, part, where in there you have to say to the whole of the Torah yeah, is valid. What? What? Where does it say the whole of the Torah is valid? Unless, yes. until you uphold the law of the Torah and the gospel and what How's has that been mean revealed. That so, the so Allah, yes, that's exactly what he's saying. You're literally doing eisegesis, it's your own text. You say that. Ibn Hamza says this for us. The Quran unequivocally yeah. affirms yeah. the validity the of, the of the source. source. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Unequivocally. And it gets worse if you look at the hadith. If you look at the hadith, it's even worse. And in, the, in the hadith, let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. In the hadith, there is a situation where a man is being judged by Muhammad yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he commands yeah. the people to. Wait, wait, wait. He's actually being judged by Muhammad. I got it for you. I got it for you. Let me finish. You can read it if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll read it for you. Bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So this is a story, right? Right, right. The Jews came to Allah's messenger and told uh, and told him that a man and a woman from amongst them had committed illegal sexual intercourse. Allah's messenger said to them, "What do you find in the Torah about the legal punishment of stoning?" They replied, "We announce their crime and lash them." And the response is, "You are telling a lie." Torah contains the order of Rajim, which is the verse of stoning. They bought and opened the Torah. That's weird. They bought and opened the Torah in front of Muhammad. Uh, they bought and opened the Torah. And one of them solaced his hands on the verse of Rajim, that is the verse of stoning, and read the verses preceding and following it. Abdullah ibn Salim said to him, lift your hand. When he lifted his hands, the verse of Rajim was written there. They said, Muhammad has told the truth. The Torah has the verse of Rajim. The Prophet had given the order for both of them to be stoned to death. Refuted! Refuted! Refuted. Wait, wait, let's, let's see if it's Sahih. That is Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari 3635. The Torah Done. existed. Done. And he, he, Done. He held it. That's from the Quran and from the Hadith. That is it. That is it. I understand how you think you scored a point. I just quoted Hadith. Sahih Hadith. Muhammad had the Torah in his hands. Is in the version of the Torah right. that they had. That's it not what it says. The whole of the Torah. That's what Muhammad affirms the Torah. It's called ISIS. Yeah, yeah. Come, 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 it doesn't say. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. There be no point in Muhammad pointing at a Torah. One more time for the Jews. It doesn't say. In the Quran, it says X. It doesn't say that. 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 It doesn't Hold on, it proves what? a... He had the Torah. He literally just said he picked up the Torah. It proves a version.
version of the Torah existed at that time. That's all it proves. It doesn't prove it was the original. How, how can the original Torah be there? Did we just say that? Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did, 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 did anyone say original Torah? Did anyone say original Torah? Did anyone say original Torah? No one said that. Now you're changing, no you're changing the goalposts. Now you're changing the goalposts. You're changing the goalposts. No one said that. You deviated. No one said that. You deviated. You deviated. It was the Torah. You're now changing the goalposts. Nobody said it was the original Torah. No, you just proved the point. We need, we, need, we, need to, we need to bring it down a little bit. Energy's have gone too high. It was the Torah that Mohammed It was the content of the book. It was a Torah, a version of the Torah they had. They called it was sufficient. The book was a copy of sufficient Torah. It was a copy. How can it be the original Torah? Who said it was the original Torah? It was a copy of the original. No, a copy of the original. A copy of the original. You can count that as an original. It's a direct copy. It's an original. So you have, you no, have it was a version. Where does, where does it, it was a version. 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 It was a version. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, me and, you, me and you have spoke for this. I know, I know. The Bible cannot say, the Quran could not say the Bible. Love it, I love it, I love it. Firstly, when the Bible had not even been completed, it had been. Good point. It had been. It had been. <laughs> Wait, by the time of Muhammad? Yeah, it had been. Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah, by then, yeah, yeah. It had been. Not the Bible we have today, my friend. Okay, so I can promise you. you what? Do you want to call it? Or, or let me be specific, the Injil as well. Specifically. The Injil, the Gospel, the Gospel. It was definitely not the same. Okay, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? It was not the same thing. So, what the Injil is. Effectively, is, is a, a compilation of different books and letters, right. including uh -huh. Matthew, Luke, and John, but also all the of the, of the, of the epistles in different churches in uh, in uh, uh, in English. So why isn't Acts called, called the Gospel? Sorry? Why isn't the letters of Paul and Peter and all of those? So why aren't they called the, the Gospel? Why is the four the four canonical? What you have you know, is the four, the four Gospel accounts. These are the accounts the account of Jesus Christ according during to, the incarnation. According to. Yes, according, according to those who, who were, to, yeah. sorry, yeah, Do you know what yes, according to tells you? To, to, yeah, Do you know what according to tells you? Well, what does it tell us? Go tells you two things. Number one, yeah. that the person who's writing it right. isn't, it's not his words. Incorrect. Okay. Right. How, no, that's, what? If I'm saying, I cannot write a book. If, if I'm saying, hold on, 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 hold
Huh? What did you think about the A bunch of dudes who had a uh, like very poor standards of uh, I don't of who wrote the Quran. It's not what I think. We don't know. According, it's by anonymous according sources. According to Islamic Most sources, like it was the companion anonymous. of the prophets who actually put the pen to the page. Yeah. Pen to the page is neither here nor there. Wait, wait, the what? Quran, the Quran, that's how it's the Quran, is a, retis, the Quran. is a recitational text, yes. not a textual. It's so, not, so it was the gospel. So it was the gospel. No, it was not the gospel. It was. It was literally oh, Jesus speaking. Literally Jesus speaking. None of it. All of it. So Jesus never spoke. Jesus never spoke. The only bits that you can come anywhere near saying was recitational is the all of it. Is the Old Testament? Is the that's a lie. This guy, this, this, this guy's been a Muslim for a year. The you, you, need, you need to now, understand what you believe. Instead. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That Muhammad you produced know enough. the revelation home, based on what you heard. That's all. So are you saying no, no, Muhammad no, no, no. is the way to a Yes, yes absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. You, you might know something about the Quran. I'm asking you what you say. You're trying to ask it me the same way you just slapped well, I don't believe it. 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 I'm holding my own. Really? Who, 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 who wrote Surah Al Fatiha? Who wrote Surah Al Fatiha? Keep on coming. Come on then. Give me an answer. Give me an answer. Give me an answer. Give me an answer. We've already done this. We've told you who wrote the Bible account. So tell me who wrote Surah Al Fatiha. Look, I'm saying that's a lie. The actual concepts of Surah What? Surah Al Fatiha? They claim it came from an What? Who wrote Surah Al Fatiha? Can you hear what I'm saying? Who wrote Surah Al Fatiha? You're not holding your own. I don't hear you talking. You've lost. You, 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 you have lost. Liar. You have you lost. Immediately you lost. Immediately you lost. He's like the male Hatsu. Are you guys like the male Hatsu? Who is the innocent subservient to? No. What? Afraid of this? Who do you think? Afraid of this? Answer him. Afraid of this? Answer me then. Answer me. Answer him. We didn't run from your point. He answered your point. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. We told you. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are those who are known as accountants. Those are anonymous. Nobody knows who they are. Right. In that case, then, Surah Al Fatiha is also anonymous. Where does it say? Where does it say? Where do you believe it? Show, show, show me. Show me in the Quran where it tells you who wrote it. Show me. Show me who wrote it. Show me. Where does it say? I am uh, Abdul, and Abdul is writing the surah. No, your hadith tells you it was written down. So who wrote it? Who wrote it? Who wrote it? That's your hadith. You want me to get the hadith? Let me get the hadith. Because you cannot make the claims of the Bible if you cannot back up your own Quran. You are burying your own Quran. An affirmation or more divine decree. He's telling you what is. Huh? As Muslims, fools, my guys! Yeah, but he asked for pen and paper for a reason. When? Yeah. Just to give them advice. Yes. 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 Nobody knew we what he was going to write. Because so he could write. No, 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 no. No. So I started no, 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 looking no, no, no. for the Quran and collecting no, no, no. it from what was written on he palm stalks, the white yeah. stones. He, he couldn't read or write. Okay. So, so, so what are you going to write? Yeah, yeah, I just showed no, you. No, I just showed you. I just showed you. To this. I, no, At the end. You can't deal with me, can you? For some I reason, want to deal with. But why not? It? Well, they just say, "Sorry, Chris, I, I can't deal with this. I have to go." No, 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 no I can't deal with this. I don't right. want to so deal with So in that case, I'll deal with this. Like, like I said, Would it help I if I gave it to him? Okay. Alright, give it to him. Here we go. So I'll read this bit where it says, "No, no, I just want to show him the sources." This is your hadith. This is your hadith. How is it a game? You have to affirm me as a Christian. I'm sorry, as a Muslim. As a Muslim, it's your belief. Are you a Quran only Muslim? Elements that are. You guys studying then you affirm this. Descriptive terminologies. I have some aspects. Yes, you do. You do. Okay. Can you choose not to? Do you want to cast away the, the, the entirety of Abu Ghari? Do you want to do it? They passed that descriptive. Do you want to do it? You no. asking some ridiculous Do you want to cast away the entire book? Some, I'm not engaging In that case, there's no thing wrong with me reading this to you. Yep. This question so I started looking okay. for. So, please listen. So, I started looking for the Quran and collecting it from what was written on 
Once again, again, on Palm Stop, Ben White now, and also from men who knew him by heart. Right, right. That's what you need to read. But that, listen, that is authentic Hadith. That's it, that's it. That's Sahih Al Bukhari. You have the ability to pray. He means it. He means it lovingly. Young man, call you young man. Young man, come back. I believe that you have the intention to do it. Did you just give us a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. That's, that's, that's weird. I, I don't get so why I mean, he's sitting there and they come scared. That, that's so a bit weird. Because he knows where it's going. Okay. He knows He knows. there's uh, all of the clients for me and us. He doesn't say, and that's the same criteria that applies to the Bible. So bring it up to them. They are arguing against their own Quran. Also, what's really powerful about this is it says that um, there were parts of the Quran that were dangerous, uh, dangerously close to being lost. But they, had to, they couldn't get everyone to come in and tell them the Quran. Because they didn't have enough people to do that. Yeah. They had to go to written materials. So if they try and say the oral tradition was perfect, it was fine. No, they couldn't. The oral tradition couldn't survive. They had to, when they were compiling the Quran through Abu Bakr, they had to get things that were written down. Yes. And the reason they're writing down at first is because in, in, in the following battle of uh, uh, your mama, or your mama. Yeah, um, a lot of the fighters were also fighters. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My goodness. So that's why. Yeah, absolutely, man. And it's all in that hadith, so it's a powerful hadith. There. Mm, oh my yeah, yeah. The verse itself it's, it's a bit strange. He says one thing and he's instead like getting panicked. Oh, sorry, man. I cannot see it. Yeah, let's do a wrap up. Yeah. Uh, just point the camera at me, whatever cameras are at me. Oh. Do you want to do a wrap up as well? Because you were. You were... Well, he's still here, actually. I want to see if I can grab him. All right, yeah, fair enough. I'm just going to quickly. All right. Uh, just as a quick wrap up as to what happened there. Uh, we were having a chat with um, a, a polite Muslim gentleman who was talking about his faith and why he left Christianity. I have some serious questions about whether he was a Christian because he didn't know the Lord's Prayer. Uh, and he was apparently a Christian for 28 years. I don't know. I don't know. It's difficult. But either way, I feel that he didn't have answers to the issues that we were raising. And I think he was quite naive in his faith. I hope he looks into Christianity more and he comes to know the truth. And if he was a Christian, I hope he comes back to Christianity because it is the way, the truth and the life. Jesus is Lord. Have a happy lens.